Welcome to Built by Design. Today's video will cover how to analyze the FRC rule book and develop a strategy for playing the game. Analysis of the rule book is a very important step that is easy to want to skip over. I mean, who wants to read a rule book when you could be building a robot? But completing this step will save you vast amounts of time later down the road. It'll keep your team from spending weeks designing and building parts for your robot that must be thrown away because they break rules that you were unaware of. And most importantly, when you know all of the rules, you can create strategies that best exploit your team's strengths and the intricacies of the game. First, you need to read the rules about the arena and the game so that everyone understands how to play the game along with the possible penalties. This is easiest done by alternating readers out loud. This process should take precedence over everything else and your whole team should be involved. Secondly, there are some rules which are administrative. You can skip over these rules for now as they are for your coaches and your coaches can read them at a later time. Next, all of the team members should read through the basic robot rules so they understand the general requirements that the robot must meet. For instance, weight and size. Lastly. Divide into subgroups of mechanical and electrical teams. Have each group read through their respective sections so that they can relay this information as needed to the group discussion later. Now it's time to begin the game strategy brainstorming process. To get the most out of the brainstorming process, there are a few guiding rules that you should follow. First, write down everything. Before you start going through any of your ideas, you want to make sure that your heads are completely clear of all the ideas and they're all out on the board. Following along with this, it's a really good idea to take a whiteboard, break it into three sections, um, as we've done here, so scoring, movement, and other, and then write your ideas um, in the respective categories. This keeps your ideas organized and systematic and easy to work through and come back to later when you start actually analyzing the strategies that you came up with. Second, no idea is a bad idea. It's important not to evaluate any of the strategy ideas at this stage and no negative feedback should be given to any responses or ideas. Uh, let me reiterate that no negative responses. It's too easy to shoot down an idea that could end up being really good later down the road and you want to make sure that everyone is also comfortable with sharing the ideas. And that leads into the final rule, which is everyone should be involved with throwing out their ideas. You don't want two people commanding the floor. Um, you want to make sure that you get everyone's ideas out because everyone has valuable input that can end up, could end up leading to game winning strategy. Now, once you have all of your ideas introduced and on the board, begin evaluating each idea in a pro con manner. Uh, consider difficulty, risk, reward, and start by eliminating the high risk, low reward ideas and working your way in from there. Prioritize strategies and choose what is most important. Remember that it is far better to focus on fewer capabilities than to try to do everything. By the end of this process, you should have a solid lift of potential game playing strategies. By the, watch the next video to see how you can utilize the latest tools in the industry to turn those strategies into robotic solutions. Thank you for watching Built by Design.